today. That's my man. It's an all-out cousin war. You already know it's a rap between me and you. And Shativa's dropping bombs. Guess what? I just felt that I'm two months pregnant. Wow! What? How do you see what my fiance? He don't even watch you, Chris. Ryan's calling their wedding off. I need the ring. I got the receipt. I just need to return it. Because Ryan and her sister got it on. You're saying you let me on and that you use it. Yeah, yes, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Welcome to the show. My guests today say they can no longer hide their family secrets. Please welcome TT. She says the man she has fallen in love with could tear her family apart. TT, what's going on? Well, I'm in love with my cousin's boyfriend. You're in love with your cousin's boyfriend. Uh, well, why would that be? Because if they're together... Well, a while back, I moved in with my cousin, her boyfriend and her roommate. Yeah. And one day we were home alone and we had a very deep conversation uh, and we How deep started... did he get? <laughs> In the conversation, yeah. He was telling me how beautiful I was, yes. how he wanted mm -hmm. to be with me, how pretty my eyes were yes. and we end up going in the bedroom, and we had sex, and the roommate, the roommate walked in, and she caught us having sex. Oh, okay, that must have been pretty uncomfortable, huh? Yeah. Yeah, when the roommate walked in, did you stop making love or say yeah, you Yeah, right I was kind of devastated, because I knew she was gonna tell my cousin. Yeah. And when my cousin found out, she put me out. Like, oh, I didn't they, have, she oh, they put me out. out. She put me well, out. Well, you could understand, right? I mean, from her point of view, you've come into her home, you're sleeping with her boyfriend. She's not going to say, oh, that's okay, right? Right. She put me out and have nowhere to go. Ooh. And now, like, me and her haven't talked ever since because of her roommate. Yeah. <laughs> so you think the roommate was wrong? Yeah. Because I felt like she shouldn't have went back and told her, like... But you were, you were doing something really bad, no? I was gonna tell her. Oh, you were? I so then you shouldn't... Ma if you were gonna tell her anyway, then why do you care? Because I felt that it wasn't the roommate's business. She yeah. shouldn't have went back and told her. I was gonna tell her when I was ready. Yeah. You, but you, would you be ready by now? Yeah. Mm. She's gonna find out today. Okay. So basically, you want to be with the guy. Yep. Now, I has love he him. told you he wants to be with you? Yes. Plenty Why is of he time. still living with her then? He doesn't stay with her. Oh, he doesn't live there? No, they're not together. Oh, they broke up now? Yeah. Well, probably because but she's upset. But I have heard that yeah. they were trying to get back together. Oh, I see. Yeah. And you don't want that to happen? No. Well, now, who is Shativa? That's my cousin. Here she is. Here's Shativa. What, what are you saying, your son? Yes, I let her and her son come and stay with me, oh. Jerry. <laughs> and this is how you do me, you my cousin. Me, are you I wanna serious? Be, I want to be with him. I don't care about you want to be with him. You don't even love him. How do you love him? He loves me. How do you love he him? He loves me. He don't love you because he, he told me it was a mistake. 
A mistake. He was wow. forty at the time. Wow. He wow. was forty at if the time. If that was a mistake, we still wouldn't be sleeping together now. Oh. We're still sleeping together. We're still sleeping together. But y'all still sleeping together. But guess what? I just found out I'm two months pregnant. Wow. Oh. Wow. So you really think that a baby is gonna trap him? It is, cause he, he wants the family. He, he doesn't want to be, to be with you. So you he think take care of my son? I get now. He ready for another baby. So you think by you being with him, that's by you being pregnant, that's gonna make him be with you? It is. No, see, but it's guess not. What? It's I, not. I, I, I never thought you would like okay, to be with so, me. Uh, he loves me. All right. So you're pregnant by him, yes. and he's aware that he's yes, the father. Yes, he's aware. And does he want to be with you? Yes. Oh. He told me he changed. Okay. Uh, it was just a mistake. <laughs> he just wanted some at the time, and I was at work. Right. Oh, you were at work. Yes. See, don't ever go back to work. Right. <laughs> no. I should have whooped your ass that day. Ever. I just need to return it so I can have a place for myself. We had sex, and the roommate walked in, and she caught us having sex. Well, my cousin found out she put me out because of her roommate. So you think the roommate was wrong? Yeah. I let her and her son come stay with me, Jerry. And this is how you do me, you my cousin. He loves me. He don't love you because he, he told me it was a mistake. He wow. was already at if the that was, If that was a mistake, we still wouldn't be sleeping together now. Oh! We're still sleeping together. But y'all still sleeping together, but guess what? I just found out I'm two months pregnant. Wow! Well, who is Kiro? The Kiro trick. is my best friend. Yeah, and why is she here? I brought him the to trick. this bitch ass. The trick. The trick. The trick. And she's your, is she the roommate? Yeah, the trick. Oh, Kira, Kira is the roommate. The one who yes, went back and told. That's my best friend that caught her in the bed with my man. Wasn't her business, the bed. trick, Jerry. Okay. It wasn't bed. her business. It well, wasn't your bed, because you don't got no other stay, business. bitch. Oh. Right. Well, here's Kira. Okay, all right, hold on, everyone, hold on. Uh, so you, uh, uh, hi, welcome to the show. Hello. So you, you walked in on them having sex? Yeah, I walked in on them having sex, and she thought it was okay? That's my friend, of course I'ma tell. That's, That's my friend. Friend. That's my friend. I was gonna tell my cousin when I was ready. You should have to tell me, because you had no business her business. with my man. It doesn't my matter. Man. You, had you know what I've been through? Yeah, I don't. You bogus and you I'm know that. Be with him. Go find your own man with well, your pathetic Well, let's find out who's going to be with him. Here's Demo. Me. So, huh? when was you going to tell me she was pregnant by you? Man, I just found out myself, man. So you been sleeping with her? I told you I ain't want to be with you. With I told her? you it's over so between us. No, it's a wrap between me and her. You we not going to be together. You going to have that baby, baby and I'm going to take care of it. That's all to it. Dr. Jerry. OK, so what you're saying is, uh, welcome to the show. Hi, Jerry. Hey. <laughs> yeah. 
Thanks for dressing up. Uh, <laughs> no. So what you're saying is that even though you are the dad, the father, and you're willing to take your responsibilities as a father, but you're not interested in being back with I'm her. I'm done with her. Yeah. She keep up too much stuff. Jerry, he ain't done. L look, she being insecure. I'm That's sure why I want to be with her. Sure is. She too loud. She sure irritate. Is. I don't want to be with her. You were just telling me I this two weeks ago, though. About any... That's, you that's told what I was me you telling changed. You. you was horny at the time. That's I why you did it to you. I lied to you. Horny. You ain't lying. I lied to you. You ain't lying. You can say horny. He was horny. He horny. Okay, so uh, now do you want to be with her? Yeah, I love her. Oh, no, you, you don't. Tell How me. long have you loved her? I understand you're upset, yes. but if if he doesn't love you, then I don't know what the point well, is. Jerry, this is the problem. He wasn't just telling me this. He all up in my bed saying it was a mistake. She's nothing. It, it wasn't meant for that to happen. So when was the last time you two slept together? Just two weeks ago. What? <laughs> two weeks ago? Well, if, if you don't want to be with her, why are you sleeping with her two weeks ago? Right, why you study running back to me if you I don't want to be with her? I mean, I can tell her whatever I want to tell her and she's going to believe it, so why not tell her I love her? And you think this is love? Really? Two weeks? Two weeks ago? She lying, man. You gonna believe Are you me? serious? And you I told me you, though, that you love me? I but love you. You wanna don't believe me? That's my cousin. And still, you still she don't believe me? We still oh, don't she don't believe me? How could you do that? How could you do that? You do that to me? So you gonna put I told her, you, you gonna everything, her everything, you? everything. Every time I got into it with my boyfriend, who did I call? You. Right. And you gave me the best advice, and look what you did to me. But you gonna let her come between us? You just slept with her two weeks ago, and she's pregnant. You gonna let her come between us? I just found out she pregnant myself. What you want me to do? Two weeks ago. What you want me to do if I just found out? When did you find out? Two weeks ago when he was in my bed. I showed him the papers and everything. <laughs> He's talking about he want a son, Jerry. I'm going to have Looking my son, but I'm not going to be with you. A son. I'm but not going to be with you. Her. But you ain't tell her. What kind of man is that? A real man will tell his girl. <laughs> If I just found out what you want me to do. Okay, so what's, so what's gonna happen? The real story is, one, you're having the kid and you're happy about that and you're gonna help take care of the child. The question now is who you wanna be with and you also have to make a choice. And I know you have feelings for him, but step back for a second. You really think this is gonna be a stable relationship? Yeah. I mean, if you do, it's your business who you're with, but you think this is where your future is. Let me tell you one is. thing about her. She's ghetto. I'm a classy. I'm classy. I'm classy. If I want she pregnant, I'm gonna beat your this ass. baby. This is gonna keep her around, Jerry. Okay. And guess what? It's not because okay. he's gonna be with me. I'm gonna be with him. Okay. I'm okay. still gonna be with him. You're still gonna be with him, yep. and you think he's gonna be faithful to yes, you? Yes, he is. You really yeah. believe that? Yeah. Okay. We'll be back. I have no feelings for your sister whatsoever. Okay, but you slept with her? Yes, I did. Well, here she is. Here's Kayla. You know, I've had feelings what for you. What kind of you. boat was it? My name is Byron Brown. I'm the anti-lawyer lawyer. It makes my blood boil when people like this threaten you, take your money. I fight for the little guy. Sent me a screenshot of my address that I sent him to receive the wigs and told me that he'll come to my house if I didn't leave him alone. I'm just so confused by this. I'll judge your situation and I'll tell you straight out if you've got a case. I never said the word sex or suggested anything having to do with sex. Again, the police aren't doing anything wrong. Byron, I don't like the law in this situation. So get ready to soak in 265 pounds of pure justice. 
That was the, the comment that got me fired. Know that you're the punk. May not be the answer you want. Don't do that. No, she can't. Don't do that. No, no, no. But it will be the judgment you need. Wait, do not tell me that he doesn't have a case. He though. doesn't have a case. Are you serious? Yeah, honestly. Because it's time to get judged by me, Big B. Welcome back. Now, my guests today say their hearts are burning by members of their own blood. Please welcome Ryan to the show. He says his relationship may be moving too fast. Ryan, what's going on? I'm here today to break off my engagement, Jerry. Ooh. Uh, how long have you known your fiance? I've known her for about six months now. Oh, well, that's <laughs> to have asked her to marry you. Yeah, and I understand that. Uh, about two months ago is when I actually proposed to her out to dinner one night. Yeah. Um, as she. Was it's there like, something in the food that made you do it, or? No. Yeah. She's, a, she's an amazing woman, don't get me wrong. It's, everything about her is, is amazing. Um, yeah. I do love her. It's just I just got out of a horrible divorce. I was married for four and a half years. Oh, I see. Um, and we're in a bad living situation. I just lost my apartment, my job, just got laid off. And now she lives with her parents, and I'm, I live at her grandmother's house on the couch. Um, <laughs> we, we barely get to have sex anymore. Uh, We've had sex one time in the last month, and it was, yeah. it was out by a tree. It was out by a tree. In her grandma's house. <laughs> and she, she rushed it because she's too worried about getting caught. She's, she's got a lot of, her respect for her parents is just way overboard. And, uh, well, you're getting married, right? I mean, you're engaged. Right. So I assume soon you would be married, and then you could have it as, well, at least twice a month. Right. <laughs> it, it would be nice. Uh, it's just another thing I gotta tell her is uh, I just slept with her sister. Oh, oh. No. <laughs> Not by the same tree. No, no, no. <laughs> she came over one day. We were doing laundry together. We had a few drinks. And... At the grandmother's house. Right, at the grandmother's house. Yeah. And uh, she said, she knows how I like fishing and everything. And she said, uh, well, the neighbors are out of town. They got a really nice boat. You want to go check it out with me? Yeah. So we went over there and checked and it she out. took a look and... at your fishing pole. Right. <laughs> and, uh... We're checking out the boat, and uh, she looked at me. I turned around, she looked at me, and started feeling up on me, and we ended up having sex in the boat. Now, do you want the sister? Uh, no, I, I don't want anything to do with her. She's just, uh, oh, she's a good person to talk to, and that's about it. That's all she's good for. Yeah. But she didn't rush it. No. Yeah. No. <laughs> but you want to break up with your fiance, though. Right. I just. I just think that we moved way too fast, and I, I, I'm about to leave for the military I don't, oh. for about 12 weeks for schooling, and yeah. I, I don't see it going anywhere further than what we got now. And okay. I'm, I'm just not too happy, because I, just everything that happened, I don't see it even being happier than what we are. Okay, well, all right, I'll let you tell her. Uh, and her name's Christy, your fiance, right? Yes. Okay, well, she's outside the studio, I guess, so she hasn't heard any of this. You're gonna tell her now. Here's your fiance, Christy. Christy, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And you guys have been together, he says, for about six months. Yes. And uh, you're worried because you're here. Yes. Is that right? Because I, I see you're worried. Just look at it. Gosh, she seems like a lovely lady. She is. She really is. What do you want to tell her? Well, uh, I, I'm here to uh, break off our engagement. Why? Um, well, you're great. Don't get me wrong. And I do love you. We've been together for six months now, and I know that you love me, but I think that we moved way too fast. You know that I was married and how horrible it was when I got divorced. Um, you know that I have a lot of insecurities about it, being cheated on the way I was, and I know I shouldn't have a play but in this. I brought you into my son's life. And I understand that, and your son is my amazing. My son loves son. you, and my family right, loves you. You're right, but you're right. I, I don't understand. And that, that brings me to the other situation. I mean, we're. We're living in separate places. I live in well, your grandmother's you, couch. I understand that, but do you not think it doesn't hurt me too? I, I, it it probably bugs does. me every day not to be with and you. And I all understand the time. that, and don't get me wrong, I really do love you. But and I mean, for God's sakes, in the last month we had sex one time. Uh, it's not my fault. You I had, rushed it. I, you rushed it. It's outside by a I tree. I want to respect my it. family. I, I mean, that's the only place I have to go. And I, I understand that, 
but it's just, I don't, I don't see why we have to do it. What are you going to do when I leave for the military? I'm going to make it work. I want to make it work. Oh, well, there's something else. So you're saying you let me on and that you used yeah, me? Yes, exactly. That's exactly. You're a whore. I'm a whore. You see my fiance, bitch. Yeah, he don't even watch you, Chrissy. Are you stupid? He just broke up with your ass. You are the cop. Get off my stage. We've had sex one time in the last month, and it was, it was out by a tree. It was out by a tree. In her grandma's house. Well, you're getting married, and then you could have it as, well, at least twice a month. Right. Another thing I gotta tell her is uh, I just slept with her sister. Not by the same tree. No, no, no. <laughs> well, uh, I'm here to uh, break off our engagement. Aww. Remember about a week ago when Kayla came over? I was doing laundry at the house. Mm -hmm. We ended up sleeping together. Oh! You, you know your Why? You know your neighbor's boat. You know how I like fishing. <laughs> well, we went over to look at the boat, and we ended up having sex in the boat. Why? With my sister. It's, Why? There's, she was there. I haven't been touched like that in a long time. <laughs> you don't do that kind of thing for me. I don't understand what is going on, why this is happening. It's nothing, nothing against you at all. It's nothing about okay, you. you. It's me. Ask me to. It's me. You know you I hate me cheating. For, you proposed to me. And right, right. I don't you know I hate cheating. You really do know this. Well, then why'd you do it? Because I haven't been like that. You, been, you I, make me. You're the only guy I right. love. I fell in love with. You make me feel only, pretty. I can't be your only security. That, you gotta I, be independent. I understand that, you but you're the only. I love you. My everybody loves you. I don't understand. And I understand that too, but you gotta. You gotta be independent for yourself. You gotta stick up for I yourself. I understand that. Well then how can I be your only security? You can't just have that. But I really need to ask you something. We though. have wedding stuff planned. I, okay. I, we have everything. We I have really we need to ask dresses. you something though. What? I, I need the ring back. No. I don't. What? No, I, I can't do that. Well, I'm, I love you. Okay, but I'm with you. I understand that. So if I'm breaking up with you, I live with your family. I'm going to need the ring. I got the receipt. I just need to return it so I can have a place for myself. So I can have a roof over my head. So that's all you're worried about is having a roof over your head? Well, if I'm leaving you, yes. <laughs> I, I don't know what else to do. I need the ring. I can't. In fairness, she gave it to her, so it's hers. Right, but I paid for it. I know. If you get someone a gift, that's normally what happens. <laughs> Like I said, I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to do any of this, but... I thought you loved me, I, though. I have no feelings for your sister whatsoever. Okay, but you slept with her? Yes, I did. Well, okay. here she is. Here's Kayla. <laughs> Ryan, Ryan. You know I like you. You know I've had feelings what for you. What kind of you. boat was it? for you. I've told you from day one right. that I've had no, feelings Kayla. for you. Kayla. I, I, I'm crazy about you. You have been no. there through, with no. me through everything. There's You're nothing standing... there. There's nothing there, Kayla. All you were was there at the time that I needed you. That's it. All you're good for is talking. That's all you're good for. That's all I'm good for. You, all you do is That's push all up I'm on good me. For. That's all you want to do is push up on me like you think you want something. There's nothing here. There's no feelings there. So, you let, so you're saying you let me on and that you used me. Yes, exactly. That's exactly <laughs> You use me. me. There's You're a whore. I'm a whore. You see my fiance, bitch. Oh, I'm a bitch. You can't eat. He don't even watch you, Christy. Are you stupid? He just no, broke you, up with your ass. It don't matter. I can still make things work, bitch. He's gonna come right back. <laughs> You just used your fat ass. I bet you use my clothes. No, Hell, bitch, I don't wear your clothes, bitch. Clothes. Obviously, you don't love you.
Okay. Now, I, I you feel bad because he mistreated you, but this is your sister. They're, they were engaged. Regardless of what's going on in their relationship, they were engaged. I don't care that they're engaged. What's, but in any event, no, uh, this isn't going to work. You know, he doesn't want to be with you. Uh, and you can't force someone to be with you. This is hurtful and painful, but it probably tells you something. You're still a young woman. What are you, 20, 20 years old? So this is the time to find out. You don't want to get in a relationship and find out he's like that afterwards. Right, yeah. I don't want to get married and then him not being wanting to really be married to me. It's your, obviously it's your life, you're going to make a decision, but you look like you're giving up something here. Uh, yeah, but I really need the ring back. <laughs> we'll be back. Look at you, you're big. I mean, it wouldn't hurt to lose 60, 70 pounds. I mean, we hardly ever have sex. I, I don't like to feel your rolls. I, I don't want to. I don't want to roll over at night and touch you. I'm sorry, my metabolism is not fast enough. I've never loved you. My name is Byron Brown. I'm the anti-lawyer lawyer. It makes my blood boil when people like this threaten you, take your money. I fight for the little guy. Sent me a screenshot of my address that I sent him to receive the wigs and told me that he'll come to my house if I didn't leave him alone. I'm just so confused by this. I'll judge your situation and I'll tell you straight out if you've got a case. I never said the word sex or suggested anything having to do with sex. Again, the police aren't doing anything wrong. Byron, I don't like the law in this situation. So get ready to soak in 265 pounds of pure justice. That was the, the comment that got me fired. Know that you're the punk. May not be the answer you want. Don't do that. No, she can't. Don't do that. No, no, no. But it will be the judgment you need. Wait, do not tell me that he doesn't have a case. He doesn't it. have a case. Are you serious? Yeah, honestly. Because it's time to get judged by me, Big B. My guests today say they are sharing more than just their DNA. Please welcome Chris to the show. He says he's ready for a breakup. Chris, what is going on? Well, I'm a sexy tattoo artist from California. Yeah. Um, I've never, I've no, never seriously. really. Of, of uh, course, of course. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you know, I've, <laughs> I've never really been the committing type. Yeah. Um, I met this girl, Jennifer. Yes. Oh, a while back we started hooking up. I, I really didn't want it to be a, a committed type of relationship. I wanted more of just uh, come over, kind of get <laughs> get off, you know? More, but it kind of turned into- A guy's in, guy. Yeah, well, kind of, <laughs> kind of turned into more of that. It's, um, you know, she's really controlling, trying to always be at my house. I go to work about 10 o'clock. I get a phone call at 11.30 talking about she's waiting for me to get off. I got eight hours before I get home. Yeah. She's there, you know, she's trying to get keys to my house, trying to move in. Well, did you tell her you loved her? Yeah, well, I've said I loved her. I mean, well, she's going to believe you. Well, of course, I'm a pretty believable guy, you know, but... <laughs> the, you know, it's just, it's not going in the direction I want. She's a, she's a bigger girl, really. <laughs> not in, I'm really not into bigger girls normally. Um, well, you're just, a tattoo artist, right? Well, of course, yeah. yeah. I, I live a whole different... Well, just think of it as a larger canvas. Well, there you go, I just... <laughs> I just live a totally different lifestyle, you know. I, I, I go to professional beer pong tournaments. She don't, she don't go with me, you know. Professional um, beer pong tournaments. Well, yeah. I mean, I, it's something that I enjoy doing, and you know, yeah. I want my, I want if I'm gonna be in a committed relationship with someone, I want them to be interested in what I'm doing, not just what they want to do, not just the food they want to eat, not just driving their car, you know, not. Not none of that. I can't handle it. I can't handle a girl that wants to move into my house. 
I mean, I want my own space. I need my time too. Yeah. And Jennifer's just not that girl, so it's not gonna work. Well, I'll let you, she knows now because she's been watching backstage. Here's Jennifer. <laughs> doing this I've never loved you I just can't do it. look at you you're big I mean it wouldn't hurt to lose 60 70 pounds I mean take a walk you know take my you, you're at my house non-stop why don't you grab my dogs and take them out I mean do something with yourself I with myself what are you talking about I've been trying to lose weight what, what's wrong with her weight it's big <laughs> That I don't like, I mean, we, hard, we hardly ever have sex. I, I don't like to feel your rolls. I, I don't wanna, I don't wanna roll over at night. I don't wanna roll over at night and touch you. Okay. It's just bad for me. I can't do it. I'm not that type of guy. Why, what prompted you to be interested in him? Well, we've, we've been friends. We've known each other for years and we get along, we listen to the same music. We do a lot of the same things. We like we to do hang what, out, we, we like do to what, party. We do what Jennifer wants to do. And that's it. Like, when, when's the last time you went to one of my beer pong tournaments? When's the last time you came to the shop? I mean, when's the last time you put on makeup? I've never once seen you put an ounce of makeup on. I've never seen you do your hair. If I'm going out anywhere, Chris, I do my makeup and my hair every single day. Go out anywhere, all you do is just sit around and watch Netflix, eat Big Macs. That is hang such out at my a house lie. When I'm not there. That you is talk such to my a friends. That is such a lie. All I do is sit around and eat Big Macs, really? No, yeah, I eat really. six small portion meals a day, which is recommended well, by a doctor, two. which is recommended by a doctor. And with exercise, you're supposed to be losing weight. I'm sorry if I'm not losing weight fast enough for you and if my metabolism is not fast enough. I'm sorry. Sorry. Who is Jackson? Jackson's my little brother. That's his little brother. All right, well, he, I don't know why he's here. Here's Jackson. <laughs> Jennifer, I brought you these flowers. I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. Jennifer, I brought you these flowers. I've, I'm in love with you. Ever since that night when we shared a kiss and a touch, I felt butterflies. You I got felt the first like, base? <laughs> I feel really strongly for you. I want you to have these. Aww. I can't take those, Jackson. But why not? Jackson, I... We're just friends. I, that night was a mistake. A it mistake? Was... You're pathetic. You're a loser. Nobody in our family likes you. Maybe you should get up off your right. ass and do something with yourself instead of trying to get my sloppy seconds. Oh. Okay. okay, but first of all, you're saying you don't want to be with her, but so you shouldn't be that angry. To well, be I'm honest. not angry, I mean. Wh I think it's what's... funny that he's in love with the girl after touching her boob. Is that what, ha what happened? Well, me and her shared a kiss and a touch. Yeah. She came over one night. He was out at beer pong being the loser he is. What are you gonna do if he gets you knocked up if you have nowhere to live? We gonna come stay with you. We gonna stay with you. No, no, no. We gonna come stay with you. We gonna come stay with you. We gonna come stay with you. I'm gonna get you knocked up next. <laughs> I've never loved you. Look at you. You're big. What are you talking about? I've been trying to lose weight. What, what's wrong with your weight? It's big. I mean, we, hard, we hardly ever have sex. I, I don't like to feel your rolls. Jennifer, I brought you these flowers. I've, I'm in love with you. Ever since that night when we shared a kiss and a touch, I felt butterflies. You I got felt the first like... base? <laughs> Man, you don't have
have a job, you're 20 years old, you live at home with the parents, you don't pay bills, you don't have nothing for yourself, you don't go to school, you don't get up and do nothing. When's the last time you took a shower? You sit on your ass all day, you don't clean up, you're a dork. All you do is sit around all day and smoke medical marijuana, dude. Where are you going? Where are you going in your life? I got a job. What the are you doing? I obviously get you girls. I got a job. I got somewhere I'm going with you my life. You mistreat women. You don't know how to even be a man to your girlfriends. And, and you do? Please. And you do? Look I didn't what's even know you on. liked girls. I know how to make a girl feel pretty and give her flowers. I know how to make a girl pretty and give her flowers. I know how to take her out. I'd love a dinner I and a cold know you beer waiting girl. for me. Well, I'm just saying, I think a dinner is a good idea. Uh, <laughs> I don't think she needs any dinner. You know what? You're a I don't think you need a girlfriend. You don't deserve a girl. You're not a man. I don't want a girl. That's the thing. I'm 26 years old. I'm trying to expand my life. I'm trying to have a good time. Uh -huh. okay, okay, so what, what, do you want to, what do you want to say to him? I love Jackson. We've known each other since we were 13, 14 years old. I love him, but not in that way. It's, I do, Jackson, I love you, just not in that way. But it, why not? That night was more than just a kiss to me. It was special. I really have feelings for you, Jennifer. I, he seems like an, look, you love who you love, he, but he seems like an awfully nice guy. And, he, he's a great guy. He, yeah. I mean, he's my best friend. We do yeah. everything. I mean, we do everything together. But I it's mean, not romantic. It's not and romantic. And this is going though. nowhere. I mean, you say you love him. Nowhere. But I do loser. love him, and I really wish he. I don't know where this all came out of. I love him a lot. If if it's the weight is that's what's bothering him, well, I can true. lose well, the he weight. Well, No, if, it's if, not if, just the weight. If weight's an issue, he doesn't love you. I don't love you. I mean, he doesn't love you if he's worried about what your weight is. He, that's not love. Before we get started, just want to say we have a whole busload of students here from UMass. And we have a whole busload of students from Central Connecticut State University. So there you have 50 people cutting class. All right. Yes. Yeah, I have a comment for the guy in the green. If I climbed off that thing in the red dress, I'd join the army too. Yeah, because you're hot too, huh? Uh, I got a comment for the guy in the green too. Um, when you were done on the boat, did you stand up and say, Moby Dick, I finally got you? <laughs> I got a question for the girl in the leopard dress. What are you gonna do if he gets you knocked up if you have nowhere to live and she took your kid in? We gonna come stay with you. We gonna stay with you. No, we gonna come stay with you. 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 And his little hey, wife. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get you knocked up next. <laughs> Me. Pipe down, Judy. You don't even look smart enough to be on my category. Ew, and <laughs> beautiful. She lowered her standards for you. And they're very ugly. Well. Excuse me? Well. Both of them um, beautiful. Too bad you not. I'm very beautiful. You two are not beautiful. On the other hand, she's very beautiful. You have a very best, you have a good best friend. Thank you. And I think you need to whip her ass again. Whatever. <laughs> This is for the uh, seven layer red velvet cake with no morals. Uh, <laughs> you are swine for sleeping with your sister's boyfriend. That's absolutely disgusting. And you look like a byproduct of Miss Piggy and the Kool-Aid Man. Our producers have decided that you will take us into the break. Oh, well, we'll be right back with Jerry's final thoughts. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you all for being on the show, and good luck to you. I hope you can work out your situations and find some happiness. You know, most of us have been on both sides of the equation. 
we've dumped lovers and been dumped ourselves. Neither feels great, and remembering how bad we felt when we were in the vernacular of the day kicked to the curb, it's no wonder we don't feel very good when we do it to somebody else. The honorable thing to do, of course, when you lose interest in someone, is to let them know, to be sensitive to the time and commitment they put into the relationship, and while you can't continue to go with someone just because you don't want to hurt them by leaving, the person you're leaving is entitled to as much dignity and respect in the parting as you'd want. That, of course, is easier said than done. Most people like to avoid confrontation, particularly when they're feeling like the bad guy. But the least someone deserves who has opened up their heart to you is the truth, face to face. What goes around comes around. If you dump someone without explanation to sleep with somebody else, the person you'll really have difficulty sleeping with is yourself. Till next time, take care of yourself and each other. Yeah.